How's everybody doing? Smoking cigars with Howlin' Blind Buddy Slim here on October the 8th, I believe it is. It's a Wednesday. Um, lighting up another one of those fantastic. Punch Puro Ranchero. These are really, really good. I I had smoked them before in the past and forgot how good they were until uh, the other day when I smoked one. And uh, I got quite a few of them. I like them. My suggestion, when you go to your tobacconist shop and you check out these rancheros, it's not a Maduro wrapper, it's a natural wrapper. It's a, uh, I forget what kind of wrapper it is. But look for the ones that are really, really dark. Really dark. And you're going to get a very, very good smoke from that. It's a very nice smoke. What I want to talk about today is something that uh, I had seen in uh, years ago. And of course, I wasn't doing videos then, and uh, totally forgot about it until just the other day when a fella come into the store. You must excuse me. A fella comes into the store the other day, and he's talking about this, and it reminded me. So I checked it out, and uh, want to tell you a story. When I worked at, uh, I don't want to say the name of the company, Humana. So, not that Humana had anything to do with it, but I just don't want to get Humana involved. So, uh, I'm going to say I worked for the Acme Insurance Agency at the time. Not Humana, but the Acme Insurance Agency in downtown Louisville on Main Street. And uh, across the street, there's a parking garage. And they were building this parking garage, and then all of a sudden they had these protesters out front, a picket line. Now, for those of you who are too young to know what a picket line is, what a picket line is is when fellows who work for a company, they're in a union, and this union uh, guarantees them certain wages, certain benefits, and certain treatment by the company because, you know, companies have always uh, treated their employees like shit all the way back to the olden days when the unions first came in and demanded better wages, better work conditions, and things like that. Now, I don't want to argue whether or not unions have outdone their uh, job or whatever, but but anyway, they're protesting the fact that the company is not hiring con uh, union contractors. And there's a whole slew of people. So I had to know one day, I walk over to White Castle for lunch, and they're protesting, you know, no pay, no whatever. Uh, and the fella that was their uh, boss, I guess you could say, was sitting on the bed of a truck, and I asked him, I said, I said, what's going on here? He said, well, this company does not use union carpenters. And we're protesting that. I said, so these people are carpenters? He said, no, they're paid protesters. I said, where are your carpenters? He said, oh, they're out on other jobs. These people are paid protesters. I make $8 an hour to protest something that they don't even do. Their profession is, a, is to be a protester, a picket line people. They're not who they're even protesting against but anyway the fellow came in the store and he was talking about how he had to get to work he was a paid protester he's being paid to protest uh, the the use of something at uh, some job site and he's not one of those he's just a homeless guy or a new guy who just got a job as a paid protester and I, I remember asking the fellow uh, out in front of the Acme Insurance Agency. I said, so these people are paid protesters? He said, yes. And I said, 
So do they have a, a good benefits package? They get vacation, sick time, and stuff like that. He started to catch on to what I was, where I was going. Here's the bottom line. You have no right to protest the actions of another business and how they work if you're not representing the people that you claim you want to help in this protest. In the, in the case, these people were not carpenters. They weren't even in the union. I thought about coming back later and organizing them and uh, starting a, pro uh, a protesters union. So they could, you know, protest and get better wages and go on strike for better wages. But anyway, this is a little thing. Look for shit like this in your town. I know what's going on. This is a new thing. It's being widespread all over. Anyway, I, I'm going to try to get some video of these folks, and then uh, I'll post it up here too. But anyway, smoking my ranch here. I just had uh, two pieces of bacon. Two big pieces of sausage and three beautiful uh, organic fertile eggs fried over medium. Uh, look up the benefits of fertile eggs versus uh, non fertile eggs, folks. If you want to eat eggs, it's the only way to go. Find somebody who's got them on a the farm. Uh, I'm using this debut video capture software, something brand new. So I'll see what it does. And uh, keep up there, folks. Keep smoking your cigars. The Ranchero is um, this Punch Puro. And we'll see you next time.